The America East Conference is committed to developing champions in academics, athletics, and leadership. Each week on America East Online, we'll show you some of these achievements both in the classroom and on the field in our Best of You series, brought to you by Newman's Own. In its third year, the Catamount Classic continues to raise money for testicular cancer research at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. This year's event, which was held at Thayer Academy in Brookline, Massachusetts, had 12 teams participating, including the University of Vermont, the University of Hartford, and the University at Albany from the America East Conference. Kind of a lot of things came together to get this going. Um, you know, at the time, when I first started Vermont, we were looking for some good, good scrimmages in the New England area. At the time, it was really just, um, you know, go down and play one team. There wasn't really any tournaments. And, um, I remember when I was playing in college, there were these big tournaments around the Baltimore area. You got to play a few teams. And we wanted to get that going. And about the same time, a player on our team was diagnosed with testicular cancer. Um, was able to get through uh, most of fall ball, had surgery during the winter, and then played all the, the, the entire spring. So following that, we started the tournament the next fall. Fall proceeds go to the Farber Cancer Institute. Um, the testicular cancer division, um, you know, just took a shot in the dark, sent some emails out to some coaches in New England saying, hey, we're going to try to do this thing. Um, let me know if you're interested. You know, the response was great. Um, you know, here we are today, you know, 12 teams. And, you know, a nice day. About 20,000 our first year, 40,000 last year, and um, you know, trying this year to get to $100,000 mark for three years total. Not, not one year, but a total for three years. And, you know, again, everyone we reach out to, whether it's vendors here, sponsors, um, our guys do a lot of the fundraising, you know, everyone's been great and everyone's been a huge help. And obviously, it would be, be tough to pull this off without tons of people. So, um, I would say in terms of the community response. Yeah, well, uh, you know, Ryan Curtis at, at Vermont obviously runs the event, Catamount Classic. Uh, you know, Ryan and I are pretty good friends. And we're obviously in the same conference, Marquee, so... Uh, you know, Ryan called up a couple years ago and was, you know, was getting it going and obviously it's a great cause so, uh, you know, we wanted to jump on board and, you know, we're playing great competition and it's, uh, you know, it's close to home and it's an easy trip for us and, uh, you know, we're excited to be here. Come spring? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I hope that uh, going into this season that we can regain the form that we had a couple years ago and, and, and then join forces with Stony Brook and, you know, I'm sure UMBC is feeling the same way we are after a disappointing year. They're going to get back on track and, uh, you know, I think Hartford's a team that people out of our conference need to look, look out for. Uh, very dangerous team, very offensive-minded. Uh, Peach's done a great job over there. You know, and then Eddie at Binghamton and, and certainly Ryan last year making the tournament for the first year. I think it's a well-balanced uh, well -balanced league and, and, and certainly looking forward to us competing against each other, but also taking it out of conference and taking it to some teams out of conference. Well, America East fans, that's all we have for the first edition of America East Online. We hope that you'll continue to follow us throughout the year as we show you the achievements in academics, athletics, and leadership from the America East Conference.